The Volksturm, a term that translates to people storm or people's assault in English, was a last-ditch effort by Nazi Germany during the closing stages of World War II to mobilize a civilian militia composed of men, including teenagers and elderly individuals, to defend the homeland against the advancing Allied forces. This desperate initiative aimed to bolster Germany's military manpower, which had been severely depleted by years of conflict. The concept of the Volksturm was formally announced by Adolf Hitler in a decree on October 18, 1944. Hitler's proclamation called upon all German men between the ages of 16 and 60, who were not already part of the regular armed forces to join the Volksturm. This included teenagers as young as 16 and men who were considered unfit for frontline combat due to age or physical disabilities. The elderly and very young were also encouraged to support the Volksturm in auxiliary roles. The Volksturm was envisioned as a last resort force, hastily assembled and ill-equipped. Many of its members were given minimal training, and they often had access only to outdated or captured weapons. Despite these limitations, the Nazi regime sought to instill a sense of fanaticism and loyalty among Volksturm recruits, drawing upon nationalistic and propagandistic appeals to defend the fatherland. The primary responsibilities of the Volksturm included manning defensive positions, guarding important infrastructure, and engaging in guerrilla warfare against the advancing Allied forces. However, the effectiveness of the Volksturm was limited due to its lack of training, equipment, and combat experience. The quality of its units varied widely, with some displaying unwavering dedication, while others lacked the motivation or ability to effectively resist the Allied onslaught. As the Allied forces closed in on Germany from both the east and west, the Volksturm was thrust into brutal combat situations. Many of its members faced overwhelming odds and suffered heavy casualties. Some units fought fiercely, particularly in urban areas like Berlin, where they engaged in desperate house-to-house -house combat during the final stages of the war. The Volksturm's existence was short-lived, as it was disbanded following Germany's surrender in May 1945. Its role in prolonging the inevitable defeat of Nazi Germany is a subject of historical debate. While it is clear that the Volksturm was incapable of reversing the tide of war, it did represent a grim testament to the desperation of the Nazi regime and its determination to resist surrender until the bitter end. In conclusion, the Volksturm was a civilian militia formed by Nazi Germany in the waning months of World War II, composed of men and teenagers who were not part of the regular armed forces. Despite its limited training and equipment, the Volksturm was called upon to defend Germany against the advancing Allied forces, although its impact on the outcome of the war was minimal. The Volksturm's existence serves as a poignant reminder of the desperation and fanaticism that characterized the final stages of the Nazi regime.